today we got a quick start. We picked up a full 40 foot container with 15 pallets of Del Monte product and brought it down here to the big grocery store distribution warehouse. Put our load on dock 22 because in the past they've always had it on dock 22 and just now the warehouse dispatch who is a different person the old the older lady she uh, retired so this dispatcher wanted it on 17 so we relocated it to 17 no big deal I should have called ahead and asked them which one they wanted it on I just assumed that's where we put it before so that'll teach you but it's all squared away dispatch told me when I got this uh, dropped off we can head over to a coffee roaster and pick up an empty can from them so Monty stuff can be pretty heavy. Let's just take a little pressure off. Deflate the airbags. There we go. They were right across from uh, all the mobile trailers that we were delivering yesterday. away from the coffee roaster we're gonna head over there and pick up our second movement of the day
dropped off, where they were dropped off, who dropped it off. shipping terminal to our terminal. We got to make this left turn which kind of turns back on itself a little bit with the 45 foot container. And if anybody pulls out beyond the stop line, <laughs> yeah, they might have to back up. The trick is to start wide and just stay wide.
spaghetti sauce delivered to the drugstore distribution warehouse. We bobtail back to the grocery store distribution where we dropped off the Del Monte this morning. We took that back to the shipping terminal which was closed for lunch so we waited like a, about an hour. At which point we bobtailed back to our terminal and we picked up that uh, consolidated can going to Maui, got it stripped off. Chassis. We just checked in with dispatch and he said, have a nice weekend. So we're done for the day. Just got a bobtail back to our terminal about a mile away. And it's, I don't think it's, it's 2 o'clock. Yeah, 2 o'clock. Which kind of surprised me, but... <laughs> I think this match kind of gave up on the day. So we'll get it on Monday. I think Tuesday we have a cruise ship. Tuesday but it should be pretty easy with the cruise ship though. I don't think it's as big as the ones we've been doing lately. Making our way back to our terminal. That's it. It's 2:45. We spent a half hour working on the the dashboard, trying to get lights on. And, and the last time I took the dash out, a couple of screws stripped out, so I got the new screws put in. Just trying to keep everything from rattling away. a real productive day today we got stuck in traffic for like two hours and then we had to wait for an hour for the shipping terminal to open up came in at six we did one two three four five six container movements we drove 105 miles and we're going home early compared to other days this week that's always good on a Friday mm -hmm. Really hustling, might be able to beat the traffic, but there wasn't a lot of traffic this morning, so I'm guessing hopefully, maybe not a lot of traffic this evening. But we're gonna head on home. We made the lasagna last night, which means finally we'll get around to doing some roasted vegetables tonight. I hope. Again, we just cut up carrots and potatoes and sweet potatoes and little Brussels sprouts, saute some tofu and something sweet and savory and then roast it all in the oven I make a lot of it that way it lasts for a few days because it's a good side dish and we'll make another garden salad that usually lasts for a day or two and that's it for this week thanks for watching aloha